Good morning to an absolutely fabulous morning here in Kenya. Um, we are live from the Maasai Mara. Uh, we are still currently in the, well, sort of, well, not quite south, but the eastern sectors. Uh, we're about halfway between a place called Kikarok and Talek, and the local migration is here. So the main wildebeest migration is still to the south of us, and all these wildebeest that are spread out over the plain around us have come out of the hills in Kenya. So there's about 15 to 20,000 wildebeest that actually don't leave Kenya uh, when the migration goes, but they have a very small local migration of about 100 kilometers. The thing that absolutely blows my mind is that the day the main migration arrived across the Sand River, the local migration arrived as well. Now, there must be something in the air or something in the grass that has made them just, just arrive and it is quite, quite, quite wonderful. Oh, we, can you hear that, Dave? Meh, 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 meh. Now, a lot of what's happening is boys chasing the girls. And it, it is probably one of the most funny things to witness. And uh, Jamie is actually b big. She wants to do a commentary on a male wildebeest trying to chase off males and get lucky at the same time. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about it. And I'm going to let Jamie do the next segment all about the <laughs> And literally, I think we've actually come to an understanding about how will we speak. Remember, this is 100% live, and you can ask us questions by using the hashtag Safari Live. And uh, we are just sitting, and uh, at the moment, I'm just soaking up the sun, to be honest. It, it was really chilly this morning, and uh, I know this sounds horrible, but um, we started off our morning with a bit of a bang, didn't we, Dave? We did. Uh, we were very, very lucky last night. We stayed at, I think it's probably one of my favorite camps in, in Africa at the moment. Um, uh, we stayed at a camp called Salas, uh, where we, we will be staying uh, quite regularly while the migration's here. And the whole night last night, we just got serenaded by the lions. And while we're sitting around the fire before dinner, we heard the lions and over the night, sort of every half an hour, they were just a little bit closer, a little bit closer, till when we woke up this morning, it was a vibrating tent. And we drove 25 meters out of camp and uh, we, we, we were lucky enough to see a mating pair in the most glorious golden light. Now, uh, we will have signal there shortly, but unfortunately at the moment we don't. And it, it was just absolutely gorgeous. Now, Francis, in Israel, Shalom Francis, uh, would like to know what animals make up the migration. Well, mo the majority of the animals are wildebeest, probably about 1.5 million animals. And uh, the rest are made up by Thompson's gazelle and zebra. So it is, it is, it is quite special that see them all together and and it, it, it I love it because I mean this is the small migration and the wildebeest have come 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 in from the conservancy but if, if we we spread our, our eye to the, the opposite valley there uh, there's oh, a couple of hundred zebra now these zebra are actually the forerunners of the great migration not the local migration and what happens is the, the, the zebras are bulk grazers, so they don't mind 